What's going on with the used car market? We're here to break that down for you on which kinds of vehicles have the best deals on them based on the most recent sales and inventory reports. Remember how we talked about getting a great car deal by year's end in 2023? Well, stay with us because the June 2024 numbers are running neck and neck with those deals, so you won't have to wait until Christmas this year to get the car you've had your eye on. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here with our amazing help desk expert, the amazing Elizabeth. Man, it feels good to be talking about the outlook for good car deals again, doesn't it, Liz? You got it, Kevin. So listen, friends, you can find a lot of doom and gloom on YouTube about vehicles, but you should never stop doing your homework. We want to make sure you make smart decisions with your money in any kind of economy. So we've done the work to compile a car market update just for you. For new viewers, if you like what you see and hear from us, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Let's roll. The car market continued to decline last week, but the rate of depreciation slowed somewhat, registering a drop of 0.55% compared to the previous week of 0.71%. Now, I know those numbers sound a little on the small side, but that's over one and a quarter percent in the last two weeks alone, and on a vehicle worth 20000 that's 250 bucks off. What I'm saying is that numbers are headed in the right direction. You can watch this happen too yourself. As an example, a lot of our viewers are watching a given vehicle online for a few weeks before contacting the dealer. Right. You can do this by writing down the price every time you go to the dealer's website. Keep track of when the price has changed. Why? To see if the price drops, of course. So if you've been watching a vehicle online for the past two weeks and you haven't seen a price drop of at least 250 bucks, the dealer's being clueless about the value of the vehicle or they're just slow. Okay. Now, there's a lot of slow dealers out there. So sure. Your best choice might just be to pass this dealer over. Now, overall, the car segments are dropping a little bit more than the average and the truck and SUV segments are dropping a little less. The most exciting chart in this week's Black Book Weekly Report is the Weekly Wholesale Price Index. For week 24, that's mid-June 2024, two- to six-year-old used car prices are lower than they were in 2023, and for the first time in over three years, they are nearly the same as they were in 2019, before the pandemic and the inflation blew up the car market. Here's another way to look at it. The wholesale prices for the week ending June 15th are sitting at the same place that car prices were at going into the end of the year 2023. Last fall, we reported that year-end was a great time to buy a car, all things considered. There were a lot of hungry dealers out there willing to give big discounts to move inventory. A lot of dealers wanted to close the fourth quarter of sales and the 2023 year in a strong sales position. But prices went back up in January, didn't they? And they carried high into April as a result of the April tax rebate effect. Now in June, the year-end prices of last year are already back. This phenomena is part of the reason our hassle-free car buying process is working so well right now. Stuart knows exactly where to find the best deals on new or used cars. Yes, and now even some of our more bashful viewers are finally starting to leave us Google reviews. And I'm very proud to say that it's been averaging a solid five stars. That's awesome. Thanks to all of you who have done that, by the way. I want to take a moment to share a review of our hassle-free car buying process from our viewer, Cheryl Neal. She writes, Every time I leased or bought a new car... I wish to have a car-savvy friend to make a great deal and just hand me the keys. I stumbled onto Kevin's site and read his car buying booklet and watched all the videos, attempting to build up my courage to go it alone. In spite of my efforts, I knew I would crumple at the dealership. I was full of anxiety about having to face a salesperson. Then I read about the homework guy's car buying service at the bottom of the webpage. I was ecstatic. This is what I've been wishing for. Kevin contacted me immediately after I completed the online inquiry. Liz contacted me after that, and then Stuart called in all on the same day. They do work fast. Stuart did a fabulous job of locating the car I wanted within 15 miles of my home. He made a straightforward OTD deal and even bargained some equity from my leased car, something I didn't know was possible. Once the deal was agreed upon, Stuart counseled me on the additional sales pitches I would receive at the dealers, which gave me all the courage to say no to all of them. I realized after this experience that I'd always paid for add-ons I didn't want or need. The car buying service was well worth the money to get a fantastic price for my new car and avoid haggling with a salesperson. Kevin, Liz, and Stuart all made me feel like a valued client and that finding the right car at the right price was as important to them as it was to me. I highly recommend the service. Well, Cheryl, great job recognizing that you had some weaknesses and it was better to turn your car shopping over to us. And thanks so much for your outstanding, well-written review. Now, as to why car prices are tumbling right now, you don't have to search YouTube for very long to find videos saying, car dealers have too much inventory or car dealers are going bankrupt. 
Here at The Homework Guy, we're not all about the hype, just the facts. But we were on the road recently to Bismarck, and driving through a few metro areas and right along the highway were Ford and Jeep Lodge. You remember that, Liz? I do. The new vehicles were parked extremely close together. Yeah, like, like who those parked lo- those cars? <laughs> yeah, like those lot guys had to be ninjas to exit the vehicle <laughs> right? after parking them so close together. I saw a Ford Broncos parked with their wheels on the sidewalks at one dealer because they needed every inch of space in their parking lot. Yep, it was crazy. They're packed in there like sardines, people. So going back to the car segment, the zero to two year old car segments were down 0.4% and eight to 16 year old cars decreased 0.31%. All nine car segments reported an increase in depreciation last week, which is to say they lost value a little faster. The zero to two year old truck and SUV models declined 0.45% on average, and the eight to 16 year olds decreased by 0.2% on average. All 13 of the truck segments reported a decline last week. Subcompact, compact, and minivan segments experienced the largest declines last week. The minivan segment has accelerated its rate of decline in recent weeks, averaging a drop of 0.8% per week over the past three weeks. That's 2.4% in just three weeks, which is an extra $1,080 off of a new $45,000 minivan. So minivans are dropping fast, huh? They sure are. Here's an example of what our viewer member Jason brought to my attention. For him, a new 2024 Honda Odyssey with MSRP of $51,765 had a discount and rebate totaling $3,565 for a sale price of $48,200. That is 6.8% off. Not too bad. Then he sends me a 2023 model selling for $42,977 with 28,000 miles on it. As part of my help desk service, I put the VIN into Black Book. First, I found that the original MSRP was 51506 so the sale price is 16.6% off the original MSRP, and the sale price is below the average retail price in Black Book of 43650 He was ecstatic to learn how much better of a deal this used van was, and he's still getting all the features he wants. So I'd say yes, Jason picked the perfect time to buy a used van. And that's the value of homework, my friends, because there are given makes and models that are not better buys right now in the gently used 2024 or used 2023 models. Right. Vehicles like Genesis, Lexus, Mazda, Nissan, Lincoln, and others, used prices are so close to new prices, you're probably just better off buying new vehicles with the rebates. Right. So on a case-by-case basis. As of June 3rd, the total new car inventory is at 2.89 million units. Keep in mind that the pre-pandemic level was 3.5 million cars. We are almost right back there. And strangely enough, that includes new 2023s still, 24s, and the arrival of some 2025s already. The average day supply is 74 days, and the average sale price of a new vehicle sits at 47455 Lower priced inventory remains in short supply, with vehicles listing at 40000 or below, sitting at an average of 60 days supply. The average transaction price of a new vehicle in the U.S. in May was 48389 unchanged from a month prior. As expected with the Memorial Day kickoff to the summer selling season, we saw higher incentives and discounts of 6.7% off the average transaction price, which was the highest level since May 2021. As noted earlier, New model year vehicles are starting to fill up dealer lots. Therefore, we expect that incentives and discounts are here to stay and may steadily increase, especially with the latest Fed decision, which they announced there will be no relief on interest rates. That part is not such good news, my friends. No. The brands with the highest inventory have been in the same place for several months now. Stellantis brands continue to hold some of the highest inventory in the country. Nearly two-thirds of auto brands are actually above the national average, while Toyota, Honda, Lexus, and Kia remain on the other side of the story. Buick remains one of the most affordable brands on the yeah. market with an average listing price of 32689 However, the company has a decent supply of new 2023 cars, keeping them at 71-day supply. While this is high, it's still slightly below the industry average of 74 days of inventory. So if you're looking for a nice, comfortable ride at a great price, don't turn your nose up at a Buick. Remember, these things were built for comfort but they don't look like cars for some retired old guy anymore. (laughs) Well, look, he got the Cox Automotive Mannheim update, which encompasses numbers from the auto auctions, shows all major market segments have car prices that remained lower year over year in the first half of June, compared to the industry's year over year decline of 8.5%. The pickup segment was the only group to outperform the index overall, falling by 7.5% against 2023. The remaining segments did worse year over year, with SUVs down 9%, 
luxury falling by 10%, mid-sized cars declining 10%, and compacts performing the worst down 11% year over year. Electric vehicles were down 17% against their values for June 2023, while the non-EV segment decreased 8.9% over the same period. The average monthly car payment right now on new loans is 750 bucks. While that's not great, that actually is down slightly from almost $800 in December oh, yeah. 2023. So here's what we have to say about that. Don't buy a car with that high of a monthly payment. If you have caviar taste but you have a top ramen budget, <laughs> just be realistic. Oh. Look at brands with higher inventory, even if they aren't your preferred brand. Yeah. If you're looking at new or slightly used Get the numbers on both because it's a case-by-case basis to find which is better. If you only have $10,000 to spend in cash, the older used car market is actually appreciating right now. That is going up in value, so choose wisely. If you have $10,000 cash to work with, consider getting a loan on a new vehicle that's about in the $25,000 range and put your $10,000 cash down so you have a much smaller loan to pay off. Yep. You know best what you need, and we're here to help you with your homework. Sometimes it just helps to talk it out with someone who has a bit more experience than you who can give you a couple ideas on things you hadn't thought of. For sure. If you want our direct help, we're here for you, friends. We love to help our viewers and members get good car deals day after day. Consider visiting our website, thehomeworkguy.com, and make even a minimal investment toward the success of your car deal by getting a copy of our book, Buy Smart, Drive Confidently. It's just twelve ninety nine. And the most informed people that call me are people who have actually bought that book. So think about that. Sure. And then you can also get Elizabeth's direct assistance via the help desk style memberships. twenty four ninety nine for direct email help and forty nine ninety nine for faster help by text. That's 30 days of black book values also included, contract reviews, and general good car buying advice. If you want to talk to me, you can ask all your questions during a 45-minute phone call we have available on the website for just 99 bucks. We can talk through a strategy for you to do this on your own, or we can talk about how you can get hooked up with Stuart and our hassle-free car buying process. Either way, no problem. Stuart is our in-house homework guy style negotiator, and yes, he can do everything for you and does it exceptionally well. I mean everything. Everything. Stuart beats the dealers because he negotiates OTD style, and per month, he does more than three times the volume of car deals than that of a typical good car salesman on a dealer lot. His experience trumps theirs every time, and he does this on either new or used cars, and it doesn't matter where you live. Put his experience in your corner and have our team work for you. If you never want to miss an upcoming show while you're on our website, sign up for our show by clicking on the yellow button for content notifications. Thanks, everyone, for coming back, and to our longtime followers, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off on behalf of the Homework Guy team. Thanks for listening.